What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to kind of go over quickly how Python computes equations using PEMDAS, aka the order of operations. And likewise, I'll just kind of go over briefly um, how to add, multiply, and divide within Python. So what I've got set up here right now is I've got both, I've got two variables. I've got variable A and B, and A uh, holds the value of 10, while B holds the integer value of 12. And then for those, just as a recap, integers are pretty much numbers and then if you wanted like a string uh, a string would be like c equals hello world right hello world so um but with regards to processing like math within python uh what you can do is if you wanted to add two items together what you would do is you would perform the equation and you do ver uh, value one plus value two so for this example, we're doing 10 plus 12, which will equal 22. Likewise, to subtract, you'll do the minus sign, which will be negative two, which would be the result. Now, if you want to multiply, what you would do is you would do uh, an asterisk, and the asterisk is found above the eight key, or well, it is the eight key. Uh, you just gotta hold shift and then press eight, and then that should give you the asterisk, and that will allow you to multiply. Um, now, if you're looking to perform an exponent, what you'll do is you'll do two asterisks and then if you want it to be squared you'll use two if you'd rather have it be cubed you use three and so on um, finally to keep in mind when dividing in python you actually have two operators uh, you'll have one forward slash or two forward slashes uh, the two forward slashes will return a whole number and the whole number will just be the number itself whereas if you wanted like the one forward slash, which would be for decimals, like 3.14 for pi, uh, you would use one forward slash and that would return the uh, the result plus the decimals after it. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're computing uh, within Python. Um, finally, you have the modulo, um, uh, pretty much the percent uh, key on the keyboard. And what this is, is it will go ahead and provide the remainder item uh, when it's when something is being divided. For example, uh, I have five right here, nine and five. Five goes into nine one time, but there's a remainder of four, so the output would then be four for this print result. So just to kind of show you what I mean by everything, I'll run it, um, and what we get is a plus b equals 22, which is 10 plus 12. 10 minus 12 is negative 2, which is what we get. And then now we have 10 times 12, which is 120. Again, you get 120. Um, for the exponent, 10 times 10 is 100. And let's actually just rerun this to see, to just kind of show you the uh, what 10 uh, cubed would be, which would then be 1,000. Uh, finally, we have 22 divided by 7, and that's pi, so it's 3.14285, so on. And then below that, you have 21 divided by 3, which is a whole number of 7. And then finally, as I said a little earlier, um, 5 goes into 9 one time, and there's a remainder of 4. So what we get is 4. Now, when in Python, if you have a, an equation, it will compute the equation in accordance to the order of operations, aka PEMDAS. And what I mean by PEMDAS is, PEMDAS is an acronym, meaning that the order of operations will begin with parentheses. So for this example down here, what it'll compute first will be 8 plus 12. It then moves on to exponents. Uh, I didn't add any exponents, but let's actually go ahead and add one right now. So we'll do asterisk asterisk 2. So we will go ahead and um, cube the result of, of uh, 20. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, multiplication division it will, whichever comes first, whether that be division or multiplication, it will perform. So first should be a multiplication, and then we should be getting a whole uh, division number after that. And finally, we would then add and or subtract, again, whichever comes first. So just kind of remember that, because I've actually been told that uh, when it comes to, some people were taught that it, what you, the order that you would move forward with PEMDAS would actually be like multiplication and th or multiplication and then division, and then it would be addition and then subtraction. Uh, in reality, these two addition and subtraction, whichever comes first, and likewise in uh, 
multiplication or division, whichever comes first. So we already ran the code, and what we're getting is negative 1,266. So this is just a quick little uh, video that I wanted to go ahead and uh, go over. I actually created it um, uh, yesterday, but I forgot the exponents to go ahead and how to uh, cube and square a number in Python. So yeah, so hopefully you learned a little bit about how Python computes uh, the order of operations within its programming language and how you can expect a scientific algorithm or just a general math algorithm to go ahead and uh, return the result. Uh, so if you like, please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I encourage you guys to actually check out uh, other videos. This video was just really, really quick and basic, and it was a good reminder for myself as to how to perform an exponent uh, within Python. So again, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.